The new M3 Ultra Max Studio is on its way and it could be coming with that new space black colour and of course it will be coming with the M3 Max and that new M3 Ultra inside. Today I want to start going over everything we know so far for the next generation Max Studio including design changes, specs and of course the Max Studio M3 Ultra release date and price too. So let's begin where we are then with the Mac Studio. The Mac Studio was first introduced as the brand new Mac category and it was the first new category of Mac ever since the MacBook Air. It replaces the larger 27 inch iMac and the iMac Pro also have been selling super well. The device is essentially a larger Mac Mini but with more ports than the Mac Mini and also than a larger iMac but gives you incredible performance with first getting the M1 Max and the M1 Ultra put inside of it back in in 2022 but then in 2023 we had the m2 max and the m2 ultra put inside but now looking forward we're looking to getting some brand new bits and pieces added to the max studio and of course some of that's going to be the new m3 max and the m3 ultra chipset what i'll be talking about in another video but there are some other changes too and one of them looks like that the next generation of the max studio could have a brand new color added it could have that macbook pro m3 model color what is that space black color and this could be added at the moment that new space black is definitely a favorite amongst people buying themselves a macbook pro at the moment and it looks like this could be coming and it will be offered alongside the standard silver color that we have right now what may also happen is that we may also see an update to the studio display too to also come in the space black color as for apple for just to change the dye of the metal would be quite easy to achieve and no new redesign would be needed for the mac studio or even the studio display so the new Mac Studio does sound really amazing, but just on a quick note here, with any of these reports and leaks that I'm showing you, and to be honest with you, quite of them are quite early, a lot of previous leaks from other Apple products have come true, but there's some that have get misinterpreted based on the fact that leakers have actually told us. I can only present you what I've been told and shown, so no leak or rumor is 100% true until we see the final Mac Studio being shown officially from Apple. However, if you are like me and you're watching this video, then you're as curious as I am in knowing what the next generation Mac Studio is going to be like and also want to hear what the latest leaks and rumors are saying no matter what they tell us. So then guys, just quickly, I want to tell you about the new giveaway that is happening at the end of June time and it is simply for this. This here is a MacBook Pro M3 and not only this guys, I've actually specced up this MacBook Pro a little bit more and in fact it's actually got 16 gigabytes of RAM inside of it to help you out there. We're doing lots of multitasking sorts of tools and utilizing apps a little bit better and anybody can enter into this giveaway for this MacBook Pro M3 that we're doing on this channel. It's an international giveaway. And all you have to do to enter in to the giveaway is put down in the comments below of what Apple gear you're still planning to get in 2024 or any other kind of technology gear. Let me know. And also at the same time, when you want to find out when we're gonna be doing that live stream and all the details about that, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to find out when the latest information is going to come out about when we're going to do the giveaway for this so make sure you do that right now but what i will still say guys is sadly there are still scammers spammers people are still personating me telling you to telegram them whatsapp them all sorts of different communication like instagram please do ignore them or better still as you can see here please do report them so then, next of all, let's talk about the release date of the Mac Studio. As the current Mac Studio just came out in the summer of 2024, and then we had the launch of the M3 to the M3 Max chipsets in the MacBook Pros and also we had that M3 iMac then it would seem that the M3 Ultra could be around the corner and in fact we've had a report here from Mark German who told us that even the M4 chipsets are in production but the great thing when he showed this M4 chip were in production was that he also showed us a chart here of when the prediction of the rest of the M3 devices are coming out and as you can see here you can actually see we do have a mention of of the Mac Studio and also the Mac Minis and it does look like we're on target here for June time what does mean WWDC when we will see the new Mac Studio with the M3 Max and also the M3 Ultra. 
Apple tend to do WWDC at the very beginning part of June time, and this is most likely going to be the case in 2024. So if this does happen, then we're most likely going to actually be able to get our hands physically on the new Mac Studio coming out around about mid to end June time in 2024. So next of all, let's do a summary of the Mac Studio M3 Max and M3 Ultra. So looking here, as you can see, it's most likely we're going to have the same design, but we may have that new space black color as an option this time, alongside the traditional silver color that we've had already for the Mac Studio. Storage options will start at 512 gigabyte. Obviously, this will only be if you pick the M3 Max option on this one, but it will go all the way up to 8 terabyte SSD like it has done for many many years now with the last two generations. But then for the actual chipset, this is where things are very, very different. So for the M3 Max, it's most likely we'll have a chipset what will start out with a 14 cores like we have inside the MacBook Pro for the M3 Max, and this will be made up of four efficiency cores and then also 10 performance cores. But then obviously this can go up in numbers because obviously there is a more powerful M3 Max chipset, but it's the same with the M3 Ultra. The maximum it will go up to is that you'll have 12 efficiency cores and then you'll also have 26 performance cores. It's going to be absolutely fantastic to get inside of this. Also for the newer engine cores, I know I've not written them down here, obviously with the M3 Ultra it will be double the amount so you actually get 32 of those inside of it. For RAM options though, it will start out 36 gigabytes with the M3 Max, this is Apple's new standard instead of 32 gigabytes and it could go all the way up to 256 gigabytes of RAM if you picked out the M3 Ultra and decide to go for the top amount of RAM inside of it. The actual body again will be an aluminum unibody frame body don't expect any other big changes to it most of the ports are going to be staying the same so this means four times thunderbolt four ports or usb four ports there'll also be two times usb 3.2 ports on the back there'll also be a 10 gigabit ethernet option obviously this comes as standard with the m3 ultra but for the m3 max it is an optional extra that you can buy on top of it and then there'll also be hdmi 2.1 the starting prices are most likely going to stay the same so getting the standard m3 max so this is the one with the normal 14 cores inside of it and then obviously this is again the normal one with the 30 core gpu inside of it and then 36 gigabytes of ram and 512 gigabytes of storage this will start out at the same price of 1999 us dollars but then obviously the more you spec it up the more expensive this will get there we go there is a summary for the new mac studio with the m3 max and also the m3 Ultra. But for my wishes with the Mac Studio, it's very similar to what Apple have done with the MacBook Air M2 and the MacBook Air M1. I do really hope that Apple continues to sell a Mac Studio with an M2 Max at the very least after they've released the next generation Mac Studio. I wouldn't expect, say, an M2 Ultra to still be available because obviously this is the best chipset you want to get is the M3 Ultra and I want to put that to one side, but it would be nice to at least keep the M2 Max for for the Mac Studio as an option, but whether Apple will do this, I'm not too sure. But if they did, I think it'd be really, really good for them. And you know, for Apple to stop selling one like this, they're definitely missing the trick here. But those are my opinions. And what are your thoughts on this? And what are your thoughts on this new Mac Studio? I'd love to know. So put them down in the comments below. But on that note, too, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. Also, at the same time, you'll hear that the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons please also make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell until next time guys i'll see you really soon take care bye bye